Hey guys, come along with me on the Scrambler for a little loop-de-loop -loop ride through the mountains. Here we are on Pingree Hill, Road 69. I kid you not, but look at that view out there. It's quite nice. These turns are very sharp and blind. There was totally a Toyota Corolla that drove down there one time. Looking at my little GPS there, it looks like we're gonna take a right down here on the Pooter Canyon. And we're gonna go this way to Walden. I like that old sign, that's cool. Guys, whenever you have your girl on the back of the bike, you gotta do a little swervy swerves when there's no cars coming. It's like dancing. Swervy, swervy, swervy. So it looks like there used to be like some cabins or something over here and they got destroyed in the fire most likely. And only their chimneys are left. Yeah, not much left of this one. Just the metal and concrete. Bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. Oh, isn't that a pretty bike? It is a looker. I should probably get going though, because I have a long ways to go. Hopefully I can get back before dark. Urgh. Yeah, it says they got 51 miles till the turn, which I think is Walden. And this is saying that I have 210 miles before I run out of gas. I don't know how accurate this thing is, but it's probably, probably somewhat accurate. So all these like burned up trees are actually part of the Cameron Peak fire, which was the largest forest fire in Colorado recorded history. And it only happened like a handful of years ago. But there's so much burned trees out here. Shady rest lane. That looks so peaceful. I like how it, like if you live over here, you just get to name your road like whatever you want. Even though all the trees are burned up, you can see a lot of green stuff starting to come back. It's not all dead. Just nothing but tree skeletons out there. Actually heading into Jurassic Park. Oh look, the sun decided to come out. Do, 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 do. So we got about 42 miles to go to get to Walden and I've never been to Walden before. That's part of the reason I got this bike is so I could kind of go on further adventures. I mean, I could take the TW there, but I am going about 55 miles an hour right now and I am just chilling on this bike. Brother, brother. So I'm really liking this 400cc range of bike. It's got enough power, 40 horsepower just about, yet it still gets incredible gas mileage. On paper, this thing gets like 80 miles per gallon. And that's actually more than the TW200, which is crazy. But I guess it's just where like, you know, the modern fuel injection has gone. But I think it's pretty cool. But that is on paper. I mean, it depends on how you ride these bikes. Um, I think I have gotten like close to 90 miles a gallon on the TW. I should do some tests one day. But of course, it's, you're probably not getting as good miles per gallon if you're ripping the throttle all the time. Like see right now, it says my average is 75, which is still pretty darn good. Oh yeah, they're ripping this road apart so they can repave it. This is like perfect for the scrambler. Oh, now we got nice, Pure smooth asphalt. It's so smooth. It's so buttery smooth. And here we are at the top of Cameron Pass. I think that mountain looks so cool up there. The sign said we are at 10,276 feet or something like that. That is the positive of having a fuel injected bike. It's happy at any elevation. Oh, look at this view. This is so amazing. We are actually entering Colorado State Forest State Park, which is the most generic sounding state park I've ever heard of. But it doesn't look generic. And I really haven't gone much further than this. So today will be the first. We'll see if it's even worth taking the TW out here. See if there's any cool roads and trails. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. She's a beaut. Look at that. Oh, it's got a warning from Jackson County Sheriff's Office. This vehicle is considered abandoned. Maybe impound it. Well, I guess if it's considered abandoned, we could like maybe kind of check it out a little bit. Oh. 
Oh yeah, it definitely smells abandoned. Oh. It smells like a very old person's house. Ooh. I don't know what that smell is, but I've smelled that before. Beautiful camper. Oh, it's got a back door too. Oh, tires are flat. That's gonna be fun to impound. <laughs> Look at this beautiful makeshift door. Man, they used to have some cool campers back in the day. Is that a furnace? I mean, at least there's not too much junk in this one. Wow, I call it home. Random hatch right there. Beautiful. Oh, they were so close to making it over Cameron Pass, but they were not successful. Just another mile is all they needed. They would have been in the National Forest. So it looks like I got about two hours. So hopefully I can make it back, at least not too long after dark. The light kind of sucks on this bike. <laughs> Or maybe I'm just kind of used to like all my amazing lighting on the TW. It's a lonely road out here in the sticks. Well, at least it doesn't look like it's gonna rain on this fine afternoon. Yeah, so the speed limit here is 65. So I would definitely be struggling on the TW. But I guess if there's like not a lot of traffic, it might be okay. We are out here on the range. See, this bike can go 70 like without too much trouble. It does get a little bit vibrating. I wish they put six gear up a little higher, but that's just the way it is. The single cylinder brap machine. This isn't like a crazy fast bike, but I get her up to like 80 or 90 if I really wanted to. It's really revving out pretty good though. You can get a front sprocket with an extra tooth to give you a little bit more high range, but I still want to take this bike off road some, so. This is just fine for me. I don't see myself really taking this on many 75 mile an hour roads. It's definitely beautiful out here, that's for sure. Got a lot more hills. And we're almost to Walden. We only got 12 miles to go. I'd say this bike is pretty happy at 65, 70. This is what I call the middle of nowhere. Look at that like single tree way out there. Just chilling all by itself. Ooh, so scenic. Guys, this is like the classic adventure bike style. Nice little walkway. Got a lot of cool signs. Ooh, the open plains. Surrounded by mountains. Ooh, does this thing turn? Oh yes, it does. It, oh, it's backwards. Usually you have to pay like a quarter for these. Like, look at that. It's pretty neat. It's got like a little river that flows through here. All right, no more side quests. Ooh, it's so fun. Ooh. We're almost to Waldo Town. Ooh, they got a wood-fired pizza place over there. Trading post. Walden, the moose viewing capital of Colorado. A left here. Oh, they got two gas stations. So the gas cap on the Triumphs seem a little goofy, but it makes so much sense when you have it on the kickstand. All right, just follow the GPS. Downtown Waldo Town. They got quite a bit here. They got a Napa Auto Parts. They got two gas stations. They got a lot more than Red Feather Lakes, that's for sure. Oh, they even have a theater. That's a neat looking bar. Santa's workshop. They even have a gym. It's a pretty cool little town, actually. And it looks like we're only 22 miles from Wyoming, according to that sign back there. It's so windy! Ooh, this is nice and serene. So peaceful out here. All right, back to it. Look, we got a bunch of moo moos over there. That's what my girlfriend calls them, moo moos. Oh, the moo moos! <laughs> oh, the moo moos! 
she's so freaking cute. This is like one of those like weird sort of towns, but there's like not much here. Got some more lakes over there. They have a post office. Oh, it's at the Sand Hills or over there, that way. I think that's BLM. I need to go check that out one day. I'm already maxed out on side quests for the day. And it looks like we stay on this road. All right, we're getting back into uh, a little bit more mountains and hills and stuff. Looks like we got about an hour until it gets dark. Ooh, National Forest Access. I like to see that. And I love this little GPS. It's so great for this kind of riding. But hold on, you gotta turn off the traction control. Ooh, a little sketchy there. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Better be careful. I need to get the crash bars on this bike before I dump it. Doo -doo. So I believe we are going into the Old Roach area. This is a cool little, kind of lesser known national forest. From what I hear, it's not very crowded out here. And there's a lot of forest roads to explore. It actually goes all the way up to Wyoming. Oh, here we go. We're back into the forest. This one isn't all burned down. Oh, I like this road. That tree's about to fall on someone's head. Hopefully not mine. Oh, it's so much power. With great power comes great responsibility. Open to everything. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take the TW back here. If I go the opposite way, I don't have to go on as many like high speed roads. We're actually really close to the Rewa Wilderness. I think that's on the right a little ways that way. It's just a random angel in a tree. And another tree about to fall on someone's head. Hopefully not mine. Getting a little rowdy. Howdy rowdy. This is like a perfect road for the Scrambler. I'm in fourth gear. Not too bad. Traveling at 30 miles an hour. Oh, hello, cow. Hello, buddy. Didn't mean to spook you there. Herding cattle. Oh, you can't go up the hill. Mind if I pass you there, pal? Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 don't ram me. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, just stay on that side. Stay over there as I pass. <laughs> He's in the middle of his meal. Or she, rather. We got a bunch more moo moos up here. Alright little buddy, get on in that forest. So yeah, standing up on this bike, it's pretty comfortable for me. I could see if you're like a lot taller, this would not be comfortable, but I'm only like 5'4", so this is like perfect right here. Broke, 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 broke. Alright, it's getting a little steep and rocky, but that's still, I don't think this is, this is not that bad. I do wish I had my crash bars on just in case though. I do like the power. After we got up the hill, it's a little bit more calm. I wouldn't say it's like a dirt bike or anything. Got to do a little scramble there. <laughs> I love the forest. It is my favorite. That's why I got this like forest green color scheme. I would also really like to put some uh, highway dirt bikes hand guards on these with the mirrors that fold out, just like my TW. Just get rid of these mirrors. Looks like there's a forest service road that goes down there. Yeah, if you look at the motor vehicle use map for this area, there's like so many forest service roads that like just wind all through here. Uh, no one's even cut these trees off the road because nobody ever comes back here. Oh, those trees look so cool with the sun setting. Wow, another tree blocking most of the road.
Ah. <laughs> Not my scrambler. Ah. <sighs> well, guys, this is what happens when you have a little too much fun. But hopefully I didn't damage anything too bad. The problem is, is I can't get it up. I miss the TW. Oh, I feel so, oh, I'm so mad at myself that I just did that. Hopefully, oh, didn't have my crash bars on. I just didn't realize this washout was here. I should have just kept trying to ride it out, but I almost did. I almost got through it. Problem is, is like kind of hurt my back a little bit trying to lift it already. And it's getting dark. Got it. I got it. Okay. Hope I can ride it out of here. That is a heavy bike. All right, guys. So look at this handguard. It bent like all the way around. Oh, that just bends right back, I guess. I think the clutch needs, everything needs to be readjusted. My little GPS did okay. It might be a little scratch. That just bends right back out. Oh, these hand guards are kind of silly. Oh, I think I might have scuffed up the tank a little bit. Whatever this is, it's coming off. But I don't think I dented the tank. I'd be sad if this tank was got dented. I don't think it's too bad. Let's see. Dang it, my back was just getting better too. So I tweaked it once before lifting a mattress. I don't know. I don't even know if it'll start. I've destroyed it, apparently. Oh, come on. It's gonna leave me stranded, dang it. Oh, my shifter's non-existent anymore? No. The TW's never left me stranded. So it turns out that I could not get this bike started no matter what I did, and I tried everything. Um, and then it was starting to get dark. I didn't really know what I was going to do, and uh, two guys in a truck showed up, and, you know, they tried to help me out. We even tried to bump start it, and that didn't work either, but they were super nice. Uh, they had two really nice dogs and a crew cab, and they gave me a ride in the back 40 miles. Um, they were kind of going in that same direction anyways, but... It was just super nice of them to give me a ride like that. But once I got back to where I had a vehicle, the problem was is I didn't have the right vehicle. I didn't have my Forerunner with the hitch carrier. That was another two hours away from there. So what I ended up doing is driving the BMW two hours away. I ended up uh, hitting a deer. Um, I slowed down just enough and I kind of bumped him a little bit and he kind of fell over. I don't think he got hurt and it didn't really damage my car but this night was just pretty much going horribly but yeah I drive two hours and then I had to drive two hours back and, and then I probably had to drive another like hour and a half um, back to the bike and by the time I got to the bike the sun was already coming up and I ended up calling in sick for work that day but I really just wanted to get the bike back um, I didn't want to leave it out there and I probably wouldn't have slept very well anyways just leaving it out there so I just did what I needed to do to get it back and fortunately I was able to roll it up on the hitch carrier all by myself and I didn't dump it off the side fortunately and then I drive like the 40 miles back and get some sleep I'm gonna probably end up taking the Triumph to the dealer and I think the main reason that it won't start is because the instrument cluster got pushed into the, the key slot and broke the little pickup ring for the immobilizer. If I turn it on, you can see it's in neutral. And even if it was a side stand switch issue, uh, it would say side stand. Um, right now it's up, but it should be starting. And also I just found out by testing some stuff, you can get these bikes to show you the fault code if you hold down the I button and then flip the switch to the opposition. Just keep holding it. You see it gives me that U0167 code, which I looked online and that is an immobilizer code. So I think that little key ring got messed up. And I even called 
a triumph uh shop like an independent shop and they were like yeah anything with the immobilizer system uh you have to take it to the dealer because they are the only ones that can deal with that which is uh, pretty unfortunate i mean i kind of get it as like an anti-theft thing but it'll also leave you stranded in the woods fortunately the tank didn't get like bashed in i did get like a little uh, chip right there and it has a little ding as well but it's really not bad but the other biggest thing is the shifter and that shift shaft right there is uh definitely bent and it's weird it still like shifts through all the gears and everything really hoping something in the transmission didn't get screwed up but honestly i'm just gonna dump it off at the dealer and i might have to use my insurance i have full coverage on this thing for the 250 deductible however that's gonna make the premiums go up so i'm gonna have to weigh if it's like worth it or not but i just hope like nothing major is broken and i was looking at the shop manual and it looks like you can replace the shift shaft uh fairly easy just take the cover off and probably have to take the clutch out and it didn't look too bad but if anything else like the drum or the uh, selector forks are damaged like the entire engine has to come apart i don't know maybe this thing will get totaled but i'll keep you guys updated peace out